So hello and welcome everyone to this amazing video of the digital electronics the playlist that we are discussing currently currently we are discussing hexadecimal subtraction 15th complement method we have used in the previous video previous video was really amazing you guys can check out the video over there and in that video i have told you so many things about the hexadecimal addition as well as the subtraction so if you are missing out all these things then you can definitely check out that video in this video we are going to continue this hexadecimal subtraction and that we will do using the 16th complement method and this is going to be our last video in the arithmetic portion that means we are doing the arithmetic operations on different number system we have done uh, binary arithmetic we have done octal arithmetic and then we are doing hexadecimal arithmetic so our arithmetic portions uh, for that this is going to be the last video after that we are going to cover the next topics of the digital electronics so if you are not following the channel then i highly recommend you to subscribe this channel right now so that you get the regular updates of all the subjects that we are covering and you get the full knowledge of all the subjects so with that let's start this video in this video first of all we need to understand that how to do hexadecimal subtraction so for an example let's say you want to perform the hexadecimal subtraction between two number and that number is let's say a minus b okay so there are two number a and b between them you want to perform hexadecimal subtraction so in the first step what you need to do is you need to find the 16th complement you need to find 16th complement of the negative number in our case the negative number is b so you will find the 16th complement of b okay so this is going to be your first step now in the second step you will perform addition addition between the two number which two numbers so our first number is a and the second number is going to be the 16th complement of b okay after performing this addition you will get some result okay you will get some result now there are two cases that you need to take care of in the first case if you are getting carry if the carry is generated in the last column okay in the last column or you can say in the last bit addition then and then you can consider that your answer that your answer is positive answer your answer is positive answer and in that case what you will do you will ignore the carry you will ignore the carry and if you ignore the carry then whatever the result that is generated this result is basically your answer right so your result is equal to answer answer of the hexadecimal subtraction so that is the first case in which if the carry is generated but let's say you are not getting any carry okay after performing the result after performing this addition you are not getting any carry that means the answer is negative answer the answer is negative answer and in that case what you will do is you will find the 16th complement 16th complement of the result of the result okay result means this one a plus 16 complement of b so whatever the result you are getting for that particular answer you are going to find the 16th complement and that 16th complement is going to give you the answer between a minus b so these are the basic theoretical steps that you need to follow in order to perform the hexadecimal subtraction using 16th complement method but now we will firstly understand that how to find this 16th complement of any number because the first step is to find the 16th complement if you are not able to find 16th complement then you will not be able to solve any example right so firstly we will understand how to find 16th complement of any number so for that what we will do is we will take any random number i'll take let's say a b 7 d okay this is my number for this i want to find 16th complement okay for this i want to find 16th complement so what i will do first of all i will find first of all i will find 15th complement of the number okay first of all we will find 15th complement of this number and how to find 15th complement that we have covered in the previous video you guys can check it out here right so again i will do the 15th complement what you need to do is you need to subtract all the digits from 15 okay so there are four digits so four time i will write 15 and from these all the digits will be subtracted so this is the uh, step to find the 15th complement so 15 minus d d means 13 so 15 minus d is going to be 2 15 minus 7 that is going to be 8 15 minus b b means 11 so that is going to be 4 so 15 minus a 
that is basically 10 so 15 minus 10 is 5 so this is actually the 15th complement okay this is the 15th complement of a b 7 d now in this 15th complement if you add 1 if you add 1 that will give you 16th complement so 2 plus 1 is 3 then the remaining digits will be as it is so 5 4 8 3 is the 16th complement 16th complement of a b 7 d so i hope students now you understood that how to find 16th complement that is very easy firstly you find 15th complement and with that if you add one that will give you your 16th complement now let's start the example right you also know if you are following this playlist you know that our main objective is to solve more examples in the videos because that will give you clear-cut idea that how the questions can be asked in your exam so if you are preparing any exams whether it is your university level exam or your get level exam whatever the exam is you can get full clarity about the particular topic and the examples right so let's start now our first example is yes you are getting it right our example is quite similar to the example that we have taken in the previous videos that that means for normal subtraction as well as for the 15th complement method why we are taking the similar example because you guys can compare the different methods because in all the method your result your answer should be same so that is why you will get the basic comparison between the different methods and you can understand how the methods are different from each other right so we have two number over here the, our first number is cb2 and the second number is 972 right so firstly we need to find 16th complement of the negative number and our negative number is 972 now in order to find the 16 complement of the 972 we will first find 15th complement so for that we will subtract all the digits from 15 right so 15 minus 2 it is 13 13 means d 15 minus 7 is 8 and 15 minus 9 means 6 now this is our 15th complement and with that we will add 1 if we will add 1 we will get 16th complement so d plus 1 is e that is 8 and 6 so this is our 16th complement 16th complement of 972 right now this 16th complement we are going to add with cb2 right so in the second step this is our second step we will perform addition okay we will perform addition the addition between the two number your first number is going to be cb2 and the second number is going to be 6 8 e okay now e is basically 14 14 plus 2 if you do that is going to give you 16 now this 16 is the decimal number that if you convert into the hexadecimal that is going to be 10 okay and if you not if you have not seen the video of the hexadecimal addition i highly recommend you to watch that video I'll put the video over here so you guys can watch it there and then you can understand the basic steps of the addition. But our answer is 1 0. So 0 is going to be the answer and 1 we will consider as carry. Now here we have b is equal to 11. 11 plus 1 is how much 12 and 12 plus 8 is 20. That is going to be 20 minus 16 if you do that is 4. So 4 is the answer and 1 will be the carry. Now C is basically 12, 12 plus 1 is 13 and 13 plus 6 is 19. So 19 minus uh, 16 if you do that is basically how much 3 right. So 3 will be basically uh, the answer and 1 is the carry. Now as I have told you if you get the carry here you can understand that we are getting the carry. Meaning of the carry is your answer, your answer is positive answer and in this case you will ignore the carry. So if you ignore the carry, if you ignore the carry, this 340 is basically your answer. So your answer is 340, right? So this is how you need to solve the particular example. Now we'll go in the second example. In the second example here, you can see that this number minus this number, but this number is higher than this number. That means your answer is going to be negative answer. So we will see that how to get the negative answer, how to solve this type of example. So in the first step, we will find the 16th complement of the negative number that is 854. And for that, we will subtract all the digit. We will subtract all the digit from the 15, right? So 854, we will subtract from 15. 15 minus 4 that we will do, that is basically 11. 
and 11 means B. 15 minus 5 is A and 15 minus 8 is 7. With that we will add 1. So it is going to be C A 7. Okay. C A 7. That is our answer of the 16th complement. Now in the second step we will perform the addition. So addition is between 3 B 7 plus 7 A C. So C is 12. 12 plus 7 is 19. 19 minus 16 if you do that is 3. So 3 will be the answer and 1 will be the carry. Now we are 11 plus 1 is 12 and 12 plus A is basically uh, 22. So 22 minus 16 if you do the answer is 6. So 6 and 1 will be carry. 7 plus 3 is 10 and 10 plus 1 is 11 and 11 means B. So B63 is the answer is the result okay not the answer because here you see we do not have carry we are not having the carry no carry means the answer is negative answer if the answer is negative we will find 16th complement of the b63 so in the third step firstly we will find the 15th complement so we will subtract all the digit b63 we are going to subtract so 15 minus 3 is basically 12 so 12 is c 15 minus 6 is 9 and 15 minus b that means is 4 with that we will add 1 so it is going to give us 4 9 and d now this is your answer so your answer is 4 9 d right so this is the second example now let's solve the third example in the third example similar fashion we will follow we'll first find the 15th complement of 8d9 point e8b here we have if you check out we have four digits and here we have three digits but here we have three digits so we will consider this as a four digit only so we will find the 15th complement 15th complement of this digit 0 8 d 9 point e8b so 15 minus b b is basically 11 so it is 4 so 15 minus 8 is 7 15 minus e is 1 15 minus 9 is 6 15 minus d d is 13 so it is 2 15 minus 8 is 7 and 15 minus 0 that is 15 basically f so this is the 15th complement with which we are going to add 1 so here it is going to be 571.627f so this is our 16th complement okay and that we will add with the number that is 2a7d.30d right so we'll do the addition f726.175 right so d is 13 13 plus 5 if you do that is 18 and 18 minus 16 that is 2 so answer is 2 1 is carry 7 plus 1 that is 8 3 plus 1 that is 4 and here we have d that is 13 plus 6 if you do that is 19 19 minus 16 if you do that is uh, 3 as the answer and 1 as the carry 7 plus 1 that is uh, 8 8 plus 2 that is 10 and that is a now here we have 10 plus 7 that is 17 so six, uh, 17 minus 16 if you do that is 1 and 1 as carry 2 plus 1 that is how much 3 and 3 plus 15 that is 18 so 18 minus 16 that is going to be 2 and 1 we will get as the carry. So now in this case we are getting the carry that means this answer that we are getting is the positive answer and as this is positive answer we will ignore the carry and this is going to be our answer. So 2183.482 that is our answer of this hexadecimal subtraction. I hope students with these three examples and with the previous videos you are now very much clear of how to perform uh, any subtraction whether it is octal, hexadecimal, binary, whether it is 2's complement, 8's complement, 16's complement, whatever the method is, I hope that you guys are now familiar. Still, if you are having any kind of doubt, I, I request you to put your doubts into the comment sections as well as you can DM me your doubt on the Instagram. The Instagram handles I will be providing you in the description of the video so you guys can check out, you can reach out to me and uh, that's it. So at the end of the video, I request you to please subscribe this channel, your subscription and your viewership is basically the lifeline for me to put the videos regularly on this YouTube channel and definitely you can follow me on these social media handles there also I put the interesting content. So with that. I'll sign off. I'll end the video. I'm going to meet you in the next video. Thank you very much.